Hello again, everyone. We once again find ourselves in Hearthstone. I'm gonna do a little bit more Tavern Ball today. I haven't really adjusted my dick because I don't really feel the need to. I've been going up against a lot of Priest decks, a lot of Druid decks. The one thing I don't like about the Druid deck because it's it has a fairly high curve, whereas we look at our Priest deck and it's fairly aggro. So I kind of I really do enjoy this kind of deck. Uh, we got a, we got a couple five drops, uh, three different six drops, and the one mind control in the deck that allows us to be have some cards in the higher end as well as the double thought steals and two mind visions. But it's really it's it's a very aggro style deck, and I do like that about it. Well, we'll jump right back into it and see if we can't close out this particular tavern brawl with a couple more wins and finish it out on a good note. But as the, as the tavern brawls kind of progress towards the later days, I've seen a lot more people either transition to just playing druid or just playing mages. Uh, not mages, priests. You do see a couple mages sprinkled in here or there, um, with with the decks like a flame waker, or flame waker style deck, or just your traditional deck. But I, one thing I have noticed is people are taking out the sources apprentice because it it kind of ruins your ruins uh, the potency of a lot of your spells. If you're dropping only zero drops, you're only going to get the Wisp or the Target down in. Those are not effective cards in this pack. So the Sorcerer's Prince has been seen, I've seen drop off a lot of the Mage decks. But this is pretty difficult. I've either seen going against a lot of Death Priests or just going against the Druids. So it's kind of limited a little bit more towards that just a little bit more towards just playing two different classes. I don't need the Light of the Moon early. It's not really that good of an early card. Because I want to get that Light Warren out there. Particularly because I run, I think, two Valence Chosen in this deck, and then of course the two Power Ward Shields. So you can get a little bit more HP, so it's not just that only two HP minion that's Fairly easy to clear off the board. Hmm. I think we're just. I think we're fine just passing here. I don't want to run out of the coin just yet. Because I can coin Thought Steel now. If he had run something out there, I probably would have, like, either coin Shadow or Death or just simply Holy Smite it out. I have a little bit of Zermic. Do I want to take three or more damage? That makes it easier. Because I drew the line and I can now just do that. And do that. So just just to draw the line and there made my decision a lot more easier rather than having to choose between uh, just using the Holy Smite, using Shadow or Pain there, although probably not the greatest targets. Don't do it. Probably gonna balance chosen on nope, he's gonna hold his hand. Okay. In that case we can probably just balance chosen onto the warbot here. Okay. Wow. Mmm. That's a crazy good draw. The light compels Go ahead and balance chosen one of that. That resurrect also giving him a second one of those a, a micro, second micro machines gonna pose a little bit of a problem. If I draw Holy Nova off the top here, it's not going to be that much of an issue, but this is already becoming just a slight, uh, slight bit problematic. Interesting they reduce that. So I wish I were pain range now. Let's go ahead and coin out a thought steal. Shield. 
should I go inner, inner flame, mind blast, resurrect. Let's go ahead and just run away from this. Ooh, that helps. And I actually got that, so that's. We got the light moving back, so that's also pretty good. But getting, getting the Anoyatron for extra taunt when he only has two minions on the field is very helpful. Even though it is a Shadow Water Pain target. Ooh, I got a. That actually gives me a Shadow Water Pain target right there. Go ahead and shadow up here in this. Let's go ahead and talk to you again. Okay, so I got another whole strength. That's gonna help. This is starting to get a little bit out of control, but I'm not too worried as of yet. I do have the Holy Fire, which is additional healing, but it's, it stayed on the board a lot longer than I would like. Okay, I do have an air and flame combo that I can possibly roll with power with shield. Hmm, where's the switch? Okay. Divine Spirit. If you enter fire here, that's going to be a problem. Draw shadow of pain off the top would be great. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and power up shield this. Is someone injured? Drop down the field. Let's go and place my Let's get mind blast to me. This this micro machine is going to be going to get to be potentially a problem, but at least I've got the mind control. I've got a couple shadow or deaths. So that 14 HP is going to start to be a problem here. At least I've got the holy fire for a five day five burst. I'm hoping it's not going to resort to that. How much damage do I have on the field? I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12. Not enough for a spike. First, then Shadow Man is it. Okay, let's clear that one. That looks incredibly awkward for a minute there. Okay, so I've got the Shadow of Death, so I don't have to worry about taking that out right now. Let's go ahead and just holy fire this to get rid of that. Ooh! That's incredibly good to get this to get out. That's actually very, very good. That's actually a very, very good lucky drop there. The Anima Golem. Shadow Word Pit. Death. Okay. Okay, with that. Let's go ahead and Shadow Word Death this thing right now. Next turn. Okay, holy smite. Squire. Get my final like that. He's gonna trade for me. If you had that time. The light does not disappear. Because the mystic. Okay, so let's go ahead and shadow a dead this. Give me a quest. Ooh. Uh, let's go ahead and trade here. Holy Nova. Ooh! That's incredibly useful too. So I can just clear here, clear here. 
And we've got a quest and adventure that's neither in Shadow War Death Range or Shadow War Pain Range. Very nice. We've got at least two more spells to play right uh, play next turn. So it's gonna put it up to six. Okay. Dr. Balanced. Ooh. Let's do this. Let's hit face. Divine Spirit. And then we can just light on. Ooh, and that stays alive. That's good. Quest accepted. Hit face, hit face. And we've got my control for next turn as well. Oh, we actually got the... How do we get the Vitality set? Oh, off the uh, Divine Spirit. That's where we got the Vitality set. So if he, if he has a Light Bomb here, he clears everything except the Vitality totem. Okay, he got our Mind Control. That doesn't help him this turn. I think we won. You have bested. Yep, there it is. These priest matchups can always be a little bit tricky depending on what it, what the other guy's running, our girl is running. Because so basically, just because it's a mirror matchup and I don't run any creatures other than the double Northshire Cleric, it just kind of comes down to a little bit of luck here, what you get off your spells. But not too bad. Keep on moving and on to the next one. who we're getting now. Anduin yep, going up against Druid. Furious. I actually prefer the Druid matchup to the to the, the mirror matchup against the Priest because this de the, with as many one to two drops that I'm running, this deck ends up being incredibly aggro. Well, let's actually keep the Shadow of Destiny against the Druid. And again, I do not, I really don't care for the opening for having Light and Ruin in the opening hand just because you have to wait for it to be useful. Hmm, do I North Shark clear Mind Vision or just do, do I just do Mind Blast? I think let's do the Mind Vision with Mind Vision with Eric. Ooh, healing touch. Okay. Yeah. Hasn't played a spell yet, which is a little bit interesting. Yeah, let's just go ahead and mind blast here. Right I've got Power of Shield and Resurrect is a good combo for our next turn. Well, in case he saw something weird out. Well, there's a healing touch, okay. That's pretty much expected. Let's go ahead and do this. This pop it with the holy snakes. Ooh, we got a web spinner. Right away. Harkening back to the, I believe it, I believe it actually was a top a tavern brawl right before. This was web spinners that were in mass in a lot of decks. Slippy swipe. We're okay with that. Hmm, got a core rager. Hmm, let's actually balance chosen on this. And just go ahead and mind vision and see what else he got in his hand right now. Ooh, a starfall. Right away. Play that next turn, it's only gonna pop the haunted creeper and the lepernum. Unless he attacks here, then it would pop all three. It would give me two spiders though. No, nope. yeah, that's right. I, I forgot I forgot about that part of Starfall. Let's pop that for five. Let's see here, what do we want to do? Alright, so we got the Resurrect, Starfall. We can save it. Let's actually go ahead and resurrect and see what we get back. Oh, we only got the Wisp back. That's not that useful, unfortunately. My last here. That's useful. Well, let's go ahead and trade here. 
I hit the face with the leprechaun. He's gonna hit here, that still leaves us one, two, three, four, five, nine on the field. Oh, there's the other star ball. Ooh, core ranger. So, Fell Reaver. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and heal and touch first. Just to burn three cards first. And then go ahead and Shadow Word of Death that. And I believe that'll burn three more cards. Ooh! Burned both Starfires and our cycle as well. That's good. So, Core Rager, I can throw out eventually. Got the Dollar Iron Mace to synergize with the Starfall as well. The Frost Wolf stand ready. Nice. Can I draw three cards? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you got 11 left in the deck, while I have 19. Let's see, everybody. What else is going to play out? Someday I'll be just like you. Ooh, that's actually a mistake. I'm not sure why he played out the Panther because I have Starfall in my hand, or, or I can fully know that. Let's go with the Starfall. Go ahead and clear here. Clear here. Live on the roof on Felguard, and that will give me a life as well. Then if I Holy Nova next turn, it's gonna, if they could potentially heal two different other targets as well. I should get him up to five. Right now I've got six. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen on the field. There's a human touch. It's actually gonna that power. He used both Starfires, so I'm not worried about that. I know I got rid, rid of at least one Wrath. That's the Mark of Nature is actually not going to come into play until next turn because that's already stealthed. Okay. Okay. So I've got Holy Fire for direct. Six. Holy Nova is easily a better play though. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit. Hit. Heal here. It's going to make this a 9 2. We can go ahead and hit directly. And down to 11. This one. Oops, and he's down to nine. We got five or six direct damage now. So he should be able to win next turn most likely. Because he doesn't have. He can't clear this because he already used the Starfires. Okay, there's a swipe. That's fine. Only clears one off the board. If he swings with this, he's gonna have to hit the Felguard, which is actually gonna clear his own Jungle Panther unless he somehow. You might feel a little okay, Mark of the Wild on there. What you want? There, that, that's that's more what I expected with that. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? As it stands, we got five direct damage. Okay, so we have the light bomb. I think we'll just go ahead and light bomb here. Let's go ahead and heal that. 
The light bomb actually turned out to be a great draw there. I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure if I would have had lethal. I don't think so because I only had three minions. But that light bomb actually was a perfect draw. Okay, Savage Roar. Ooh. E. That's not necessary. Oh, wait. He just hit. He just cleared. He just cleared our. Uh, he just cleared our archmage, so he gave us lethal. And there it is. Don't even have to worry about getting. Uh, don't even have to worry about what we get for the sixth round. Just holy fire face. Light bomb is very very useful in this match. I find. Just in this format, for some reason, it turns out to be incredibly, incredibly useful. But there we go, two more wins. I think I'll end it here on the 18, 18 wins for this Tavern Brawl. We'll see you next time, next Wednesday, when we go into another Tavern Brawl. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time.